On today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this. So stay tuned. Greetings everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can see from this perspective, uh, you can now see me at eye level. Over the weekend I was able to pick up a tripod. Uh, on my previous video I have my recording on a small table and it was pointing outward to uh, record my face. I'm sure many of you will appreciate you know not looking at my nose hairs from now on. So that's kind of a good thing. What? But anyway. <laughs> Today I'm gonna show you how to, uh, you know, how to put videos inside your text, or how to create a video full in text effect that you can add to your videos, um, and also maybe um, you know add uh, some sort of transition afterwards. Uh, we figure it out when uh, we get on the computer. Anyway, let's uh, get onto the computer, start off DaVinci, and get right to it. Alright, let's start our project. I uh, already import some Mia into uh, the project. Here's a clip of an airport in New York City. See back here, there's the Freedom Tower. Also imported some, um, some oil as well. Bring that onto the timeline. Now to uh, create our um, video full text, we're going to need to have a background. Let's select generators, side cutter, and drag that onto the timeline. Now being this uh, video is kind of dark. I think I changed the background cutter to a, a white cutter. So when we put the text over it, uh, you can see the outline a little better. Next, uh, we got to bring in the text. Uh, click on titles, select text, drag that onto the timeline. Have it start on the first beat in the oil wave form you see here here's the waveform i kind of use that to time out my clips a little bit now uh, being that airport in is in new york city we gotta type in nyc Now you're not going to be able to see anything because the text is white and the background is white. So we're going to change the text color to uh, green screen green. And let's make, let's select the uh, font that is quite thick so that we can see more of the veil coming through. Uh, Select impact. Let's uh, make it bold, give it a little extra thickness, make it a little large. Not too large, that's a little too large. That's about right. Next, we're gonna break up uh, this um, title layer uh, with the cut tool. Uh, we're gonna break it up every four beats, so like one, two, three, four. Let's make a cut here. One, two, four. Uh, 
Uh, another cut here. Go back to the first letter. We're gonna crop out the uh, Y and the C. So go to videos and the inspector. Go down to the crop section. Crop right. Cover up the Y and the C. Just leave the end on the first clip. Select the second clip. Go to videos again. We got to crop out the C. Try not to crop out too much. Then if we look at the beginning of the video, you see the N, the Y, and the C, and it's timed perfectly with the oil. Next, we're going to combine uh, all the letters and the background into one clip. So, highlight all of them. Right click, view compound clip, create. Okay, now we could treat this uh, compound clip like uh, any other uh, green screen video. We could just go to cutters and just uh, filter out the green screen cutter. And it would then display the video in the back. And we're pretty much done. Now I already done a green screen video uh, a while back. I'll leave a link up in the corner if you want to check uh, that one out. But today I'm going to use something else to um, to apply this effect. I'm going to be going into Fusion to do it. So let's go into Fusion. Now in Fusion, uh, everything is done through nodes. Now nodes are basically a task or work that you could apply to your videos. Now over here there's two nodes uh, representing uh, this compound clip we just created on the timeline. Now in each uh, there's two monitors in, uh, in Fusion and underneath these dots this is where you would press to display the node either on monitor one or you want to display on monitor two. Now I like to uh, leave uh, monitor one uh, as my media out so that would show the final product. And uh, this is where the clip comes into fusion. And we could put this on monitor two. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a node. Uh, right click, go to add tools, go to mats, select uh, delta keyer. Now we're gonna break the connection to the output and we're gonna connect this to the delta keyer and then we would turn, connect the delta keyer to the output. Now with the delta keyer, we will go into inspector and here's all the properties for the delta keyer that you could, you know, uh, adjust. Now we're going to change this uh, background color to the green screen green that uh, we set the, the text color to and hit OK. As you see as this output here, here's the transparency shown here. Now if we go back to the timeline and hit play, you will see you can now see the video going on in, in the back of it. And that's pretty much how as simple as that in terms of creating, you know, um, uh, video full text. Now we could go back into Fusion and add some effects to it, like uh, maybe at the end of the video. Let's go to about here to 135. And we will add another node. Uh, we will add a transform node. <coughs> and within this transform node, we're going to give it a keyframe at the size 
property. And then we would go all the way to the end of the clip. And then set the size to 11. I <laughs> see it's uh, gone over here, but if you rewind back the clip a little bit, you will see that is zoom out and into the video so we also want to you know make it uh, give it a little bit of a blur effect to make it nice and smooth and everything like that so let's right click go to add tools let's go to uh, FX blur and let's select zoom blur that'd be a easy way to you know, apply a blur effect to your zoom out uh, transition and then we will attach this um, to the end of the transform node so you will put the transform node into zoom blur break out the output and take the output from zoom blur and into the Mia out Now in zoom blur, it's already default to a little bit of a blurring effect already. We want to go back to our location for our transform uh, keyframe. And we would then uh, set a keyframe here. Make sure to set this all the way to the to zero so there wouldn't be any blur effect and then as we move on to the next clip you'll put the smooth string all the way up so it will look like it's zooming out so as you keep moving each frame and once you reach there you can turn off uh, the smoothing effect then you rewind back there you go, you see a little bit of a blurring effect to it. So, if we go back here, go to the beginning of the clip. Now, we're going to let it render out a little bit, as you see here. Because if you play it through, it'd be a little choppy. But if you don't let this blue bar finish to the end of the clip, it'd be choppy, but once it's finished and rendering, you could then run it. And it's really smooth now. Now we also want to add a little bit of a... You know what, let's also add a little uh, zoom effect to um, the airport clip as well. So it'd be... So let's go into OpenFX. They also have Zoombird here that you can add to clips. You add it to airport clip. Then in the airport clip, you go into inspector, go to OpenFX. And you could do the same deal here, you know. Put the smooth shrink down, enter a keyframe. And then as it goes, you know, you put the, sh the zoom strength to one and let it keep going 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 and then once you get to this point you just turn off uh, the zoom strength and now if you rewind it And that's pretty much how it's done. And that's pretty much how you would apply uh, a video full in effect on your text and incorporate into your videos or uh, into your projects. If you have any questions, uh, please leave in the comment below and I will get back with you. 
And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button. As well as subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorial vlogs, fun and challenges. And also click on the notification bell to get notified when I release new videos. As always everybody have a nice day. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone.